Hello everybody and welcome to this new video. Before getting rid of the URL bar, it may be interesting to figure out why it's there in the first place. The reason is very simple. It's there for security reasons. Imagine this scenario. You are an Android developer. So browsing the web, you find a progressive web app online, which is not yours, but that you like. And uh, well, you want to own it. So what do you do? You just wrap it up into an Android app, you upload it to Google Play, and then you can start charging people for downloading it. That would be totally unfair, wouldn't it? So that's why the URL bar is there. If the content is not yours, the users must know it. However, if the Android developer can prove that the progressive web app that is wrapping up in his application actually belongs to him, then there is no problem. It's possible to get rid of the URL bar. But how do you prove it? Well, that's very simple. Basically, you must establish a system of cross-reference going back and forth from the Android app to the progressive web app, and from the progressive web app to the Android app. In fact, you might remember from one of the first videos that we established the connection from the Android app to the progressive web app. Let's check out the code in Android Studio to refresh our memory. If we open Android Studio and we can check out the values folder and then we open the strings.xml file, we will see that over here at the bottom, there is this reference on line eight. This piece of code links the Android app to the progressive web app. But remember, the relationship must be mutual. So where is the reference from the progressive web app to the Android app? Well, this is going what we are going to build in the next video. And we will do that by writing and uploading an asset link to JSON file. 